I recommend you drink some of the fast food. Hey. So, with deer season out, I'm officially allowed back on the 145-acre property, which means I can go back here now. And um, I just realized I'm basically walking over a thick swamp. It's frozen. <laughs> Like, here, look, seriously. Look at the ice. Yeah, a little ice. Mmm. Ice crystals, I guess you could call it. They're basically just breaking and sinking under my feet. That's something I love about winter. It freezes up the swamps. And it allows me to basically walk over whatever I want. If you look in this little creek right here, it's still ice in it. Around the edges, anyway. Oops. See? It's a much prettier creek there in the fall than it is during the winter. I mean, what am I trying to say? I'm trying to say it's a much prettier creek in the winter than it is in the summer. Got it right that time. Now I'm coming out here, basically just scouting around, flooring. Just because I can. <sighs> Look at that. Those little polypores I told you about earlier this year. Okay, last year, considered now it's 2014. So. What am I coming down here looking for? Nothing particularly. I'm sure some people would be very happy if I managed to find some um, oyster mushrooms. So I'm going to check a few of the places I know they like to grow. I doubt they're growing right now, but it'd be nice. So, yeah. And I'm coming up on the spot right now, so I may as well just go ahead and play with it. <clears throat> and keep the camera rolling. All these dead logs right here. Only all kinds of mushrooms on them. Let's see. I don't see nothing. Ooh, almost fell. Right now, all I'm seeing are these um, polypores. I don't see new oyster mushrooms. Crikey. <laughs> okay. I don't see none. Oh well. I guess another thing I'm out here looking for is um, sheds, deer sheds, or it'd be even nicer if I found a whole skull with our antlers and everything still on it. It's a shame that I found an eight pointer like that one time, and let's just be honest, I took that skull, and that skull is sitting above my window right now. But anyway, right. Um, you know, sometimes a hunter find the great biggest deer they can find, shoot it, and because a lot of people really are kind of a poor shot, they end up losing it. And the animal goes off and suffers for a while, and then it dies. Well, with this one. It did that probably about a year before I found it. 
it was shot. It ran off, lived for probably a, a week or so, and died. Then, time went on, the body decomposes, and me just doing around in the woods like I am right now. I end up finding it. And I was very happy. I grabbed it took, and ran home. Like this. People littering. It's a shame. But the thing is, is, something like that can be used in a small situation. It's both a container for water and or as a tool. Where you can flatten at the bottom of it to an arrowhead. And it works. I've done it before. I'm not the best person in the world when it comes to flint napping, but I managed to do it. It didn't look very pretty. But it would work. I keep stopping because I keep hearing deer run. I at least want to see them if I can't shoot them, I mean, you know? Uh. Yeah, you know, I could probably sit here on camera just walking and talking all day. That ain't what y'all want to see. Y'all want to see some action. No, I mean, some of y'all, a lot of y'all probably actually like hearing me just talk and walk. But, um, I guess I'm, uh, turn this off and hopefully find some oyster mushrooms or some sheds or something, I don't know. Or even a, a deer hunter's loss. I know they hunt back here during, um, deer season. Matter of fact. Anybody, you want to guess what this is? Anyway. So I'm going to carry on and see what I can't find because I'm really out to explore today. Alright. See y'all in a little bit, I guess, maybe, possibly. I know what you're thinking. No, I'm not getting down and walking on it. I might eat something like a rock.
that did was crack it. What do y'all think? You don't think? Do y'all think this will break it? Let's see. I think I was wrong about that two inch. I mean, dang. This is really, really, really thick. And I'm probably pretty crazy for sitting here playing with it. It just don't want to break. It break through. I want to see how thick it is. My question is, is it really hasn't been that cold. these logs ain't barely breaking it. My foot hurts now. I'm stomping that thing. Good. You know? If I was crazy enough, I could probably walk out on this thing. But you want to know what? It ain't worth how cold I'd be if I fell through. It just ain't worth it. But I gotta tell you, I really want to. Probably some other way I can break through here. Tell you what, I wish I had a hammer. Like a, a hammer hammer. Something metal or stone. I mean, at the very least, I mean, you know? That's making my foot hurt too, damn. This is really tough. They can probably support my weight. I have really bad temptations right now. God. <laughs> Bad Cody, bad Cody. 
I really need to get up and start moving before I do something stupid. Wish I had something heavier than that. I just found a safe way to test if it can hold my weight. I'm supported by this log, so that way if I break, so if it breaks, I can just pull my feet up. It supports me. <laughs> but the thing is, is I'm not going to actually walk out on it. I'm so weird. Well, that ain't gonna work. It's whippy. Y'all get to witness me when I'm out in the woods. I ain't got nothing to do. No lesson plan. No nothing. Just uh, screwing around. Right. It's kind of heavy. I'm a low man. Well, that didn't work. Let's try it again. There we go. Enough screwing around, Cody. Well then. I'm hot now. Kinda wish I hadn't done that now. I ain't got nowhere to put my coat. I do, but I don't. Oh well, so um. Anyhow, <laughs> I've probably spent a good 20 30 minutes just screwing around with the ice. Oh well. I'm going to carry on because I'm just a little weird. Well, uh, this is the ice I was playing with. That I couldn't get to actually shatter so I could see how thick it is. That does look pretty cool, though. Oh, well. I shall carry on. Y'all, oh, there is something definitely wrong with me. There's gotta be. Okay. So I'm on the other side of the creek now, eh? so um, let's see. What to do, what to do, what to do, what to do. It is fascinating actually, here look. The water is running right there. You can probably barely see it moving on the camera. And the ice is melted. Now, 
water moving is a lot harder to freeze than sitting in water. So essentially the slower moving the water is, the faster it's going to freeze. I had a stick trying to ride with me. Alright. I'm gonna carry on as I'm walking on ice this swamp. It's very moist up here. But it's also very crazy. For the most part. Uh, what do you think I like to do? Should I stay over here? Or jump back across? Stay over here, jump back across. I'll jump back across. I'm gonna use this log over high. Wait, where's that letter? Jeez. Okay. Only thing. I could use the log, or I could just jump across. Okay. Well, I'm uh, going across and uh, continue just uh, walking around, doing nothing in the woods. Come on now, focus. There we go. Look at that little squirrel. He's just sitting there. Ain't paying me no mind or nothing. I mean, he's like 15 yards away from me. There he goes. This squirrel's not very shy now, is he? Hey, Mr. Squirrel. Well, apparently he don't like being called Mr. Squirrel now, does he? He's just on the other side of that tree. I see his little tail flailing. See? There he goes. Him. He's not that shy. Look at him. That's the craziest thing I've ever seen. I mean, don't get me wrong, I've done my fair share of getting close to animals and they're just standing there looking at me. But I've never really seen a squirrel do it. Yeah, I'm kind of nervous. Going across right here. Yeah, that way would be safer. I'll be right back. Well, there's the bridge, y'all. All the ice in the creek. And in fact, you can see it much more iced over right there. Well, you know, I'm kind of curious what the pond and the waterfall looks like. It does look nice, though, don't it? All right. So let's, um, ooh, yeah, I forgot I had it zoomed in.
So, I'm going to head on over here to the um, pond and the waterfall first because that's closer. And uh, let's see how that looks like. Look at that. That is amazing. That is sweet. What the heck? Something's going on up there. Look at all these ice crystals, dude. I'm like standing on water. Look how big they are. Dude, that is awesome. I have never seen anything like this in person in my life. Look at that. That is, oh, man, I wish I could get over there and look at that stuff in, like, person, much closer. That is amazing looking. I've never seen anything like this, in, you know, up close. Look at these, these ice crystals. That is amazing. Wow. I'm thoroughly impressed. This looks amazing. Look at these. Look how big these are. I mean, look how long that is. It's amazing. <laughs> I don't ever want to leave now. That's amazing. I wish I could get over there. I mean, I guess if I was crazy enough, I could take a sharp stick and shimmy my way across right there, but the way it looks right now, I don't want to mess it up. That's amazing. I hope it stays like this all winter. There's somebody I want to share this with. I mean, look how these, it's just, wow, that is really freaking cool. Okay. I guess enough admiration on y'all's part. I'm uh, I'm gonna take a few pictures of this, high def pictures. That's that's amazing. All right, I'll see y'all in a little while. That was truly one of the most amazing things I've ever found in nature. So I'm back up here um, on the pond now. Not on the pond, but you know, around it. If I was on it, I think I'd be swimming. There's no way the ice could be that thick. I just don't see it.
Now I'm on the edge. It really is a shame to leave that place. That was. That is something else, I tell you. Well, here's the pond. It's got an ice sheet over the whole thing. There is nowhere where there's water. Now, because I am me, I've got to stick around. That's um, pretty thick right here. Tell you what. I'm going to see how thick this is. I'm going to find me a stick or something else strong and pokey. And I'm going to jab and stab and bang and dang until I get through. So I can see just how thick it is. But this looks pretty thick actually so anyway all right got junk out look how thick that thing is that is crazy it's going I just found myself a game. <laughs> okay, I'll be right back. Got me another chunk. Let's give it a good rope. Oh, it made it all the way to the other side. Awesome. There's one of my other chunks. It's like, where did it land at? It was somewhere in there. I think. There it is. We made it all the way to the other side. Yeah. Oh. Don't fall now. Yeah, I know. I'm weird as crap. I'm going to do it one more time. Then I'm going to go ahead and go home. Because some people need me now. What I got to do, I got to take this knife right here. This is just one of my little knives I keep with me. Or if I need for something I don't want to. Here's my good knife for. But you gotta cut it. You gotta stab cut it. Hey. There we go. Broken free. Fry it up. Now. Which direction should I toss this thing? That was actually a relatively short distance, so I'm going to try and get all the way over there. I should make sure I can get in the camera for you. Uh, yeah, that should work. One, two, three. Too much friction, too much friction. It's not going to make it, it's not going to make it, it's not going to make it. It didn't make it. Oh well. Well. I guess I'm going to start heading back. Because um, I'm needed. I think. Considering how many calls and texts I'm getting. I'm probably needed. That's the thing. I can get calls and texts and all that stuff. But I, I can't reply to them. So. Yeah. I'm going to head back I guess. Alright, well, this isn't bye. I'll keep walking and talking, but for the moment it is.
So how'd y'all like that waterfall? I gotta tell you. That was amazing. I've seen it in a lot of configurations, but I've never seen it quite like that. I'll tell you what I'd like to have seen. I think what would have been looked really even cooler if it was completely frozen over. Oh, I look like I had a blood spot on my forehead. Everything is gonna come to an end at some point, I suppose. But it's a great thing they make cameras so you can look at it over and over and over and over again. I'm obsessed with that. That was really cool. Um. And these woods are just amazing. I mean, you can see it in the background right there. It's, these are my favorite woods to be in. Straight up. The woods behind my house are great and all. But back here, it's just incredible. I'd be happy if I was the only one that knew how to get here, that knew how to navigate it, that knew where everything was, and the only one that would go in. I'd be more than happy if that was the case. I'd love to have this whole bottom one right here all to myself. Because up there, it's pretty much all pines and stuff like that because I mean the better part of this land is a um, tree farm or a pine farm so yeah they haven't chopped down and planted down here because it's just too moist most of the time too wet and frankly I hope it stays that way. I don't ever want this to leave. I like how right now I'm kind of just, well right, not right now, but I was just walking right over top of areas that I would normally sink to my ankles in, in mud. I love that. Like, this right here, I can just walk right over it. Now, this right here, I'm not quite going to chance it like that, but some things I will. You just gotta walk carefully. Yeah, I'm a little brave. If it's just my feet, I'll be okay. I stay warm most of the time. <laughs> That's not gonna work. Drop down right here between the crooks. And then step over. Step over again. Get my balance back. Then walk on out. Get here and go in between this thick tree top. There we go. I really love these woods, but, uh, hold on, there we go, eight minutes, this is going to be a long video, but y'all don't care, right, it's one of those kinds of videos you get to just sit back and not have to constantly change videos. You know, those little three, four minute throttle videos. They're good. 
as in the filmers are good, but they fit in just enough to cover the lesson and they make it quick fast. They don't really go too in depth. I like different filmers that really take their time to explain as much as they can. It may take a while, but to the new person, the person new to it, it really helps. Because it really helped me. Because really, until I stumbled upon those kind of videos, I had to do a combination of reading books and watching the videos. You know, let's read the book so I can get the details of how it's done, and then the video so I can see how it's done. Because I'm an in the field learner. Most of the time I can't just read something and immediately know how to do it. Anyway, um, I can see houses now, so I'm pretty much out of the woodwork. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. I know I did. That waterfall was something else. Ah, I didn't get enough momentum to get over the log. Anyway. If y'all enjoyed this video, keep on subscribing. I really appreciate it. I think I'm like 151 now. Probably more than that. It was 151 last time I checked, so. Like, subscribe, and comment. I love the comments. I love hearing what you guys have to say. Whoops. I'm trying to kick a stick out of a tree. Alright, anyway. Like, subscribe, and comment. I'll see y'all in another one.